everybody, Ian here at NAB 2016. I've gone over to the Miller booth and I'm here with Michael. And Michael is an engineer with Miller who has solved one of the age old problems with fluid heads. Uh, we'll look into the other feature sets on the newest versions of the Aero fluid heads. This is the X series, which is all one week old. One week old. <laughs> uh, but Michael has solved a counterbalance problem that is uh, ages old, and that is the payload of the camera may be under or over the settings of the resistance or the counterbalance of the fluid head. And so Michael saw this problem and he came up with a new solution. So uh, what we've done is we've set this head up with this camera and right now we have what's called the CB adjustment or the counterbalance adjustment which is activated on the front of the fluid head. We've turned that off. So Michael, you want to show us what's happening right now with the camera? Yeah, Ian, you're right. Um, the, the, the main purpose of a counterbalance system is to reduce effort required to operate the camera. So uh, what we've done here is we've, we've created a, a half step which is conveniently located on the front of the, of the head. So what you can do is, is by simply, if you, if you require less counterbalance, um, you can turn it off. If you require more counterbalance, it's a simple flick of the switch and you now have an extra half a step uh, required. Now the main functions in the arrow, as they always have been, all of the controls are located on the back of the fluid head. Uh, they're backlit, uh, so you can see them at night. Uh, but the main controls on this head are done through one single switch. So you don't have the problem of going backwards and forwards. You don't have the problem of having offsetting large numbers of, of, of amount of counterbalance. And so we think that, like everything we do at Miller Camera Support, we try to find a simple solution where you're getting an equal and progressive way of selecting counterbalance. Uh, which is an important part of cameraman's operations. Absolutely, and now you can really concentrate on your compositions versus fighting yeah. gravity, essentially. Correct. Correct. The other thing that you did on the X-Series is we've upped the number of pan and tilt positions as well. Correct. The, the, the pan and tilt positions are 0 to 7. Uh, we've got a 0 position, uh, and we've got 7, which is our heaviest drag position, both in the pan and tilt. Um, the, the positive about this system is that you can have what we call diagonal shifts where the, 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 the drag in the tilt and the pan is the same and therefore you achieve the same equal effort required to tilt it diagonally. Uh, additionally, we, this system is very repetitive and, and it's also very, very, um, it's, it's uh, equal step, so it's progressive. Okay. So you're never looking for a different position. You're never looking for something that oh, something I had before and I think I want to go back to it, trial and error. If you've selected three, you will get three. So that's, that's the positive about this system. With the X-Series, I'm also correct, and it looks a little more beefier. You, you've up the thickness of the yeah. build. Yeah, look, it's, it's, uh, it, Arrow has been kind of screaming out for that. Um, yeah. We've had the compass introduced about six years ago and it's kind of positioned itself in, in, that, in that range. Um, then we had the Skyline Cineline, which is a, a larger head. And Arrow was kind of not, not sure whether it was on, on this side or, or that side, you see. Um, I didn't, <laughs> I was playing around with it, so yeah, no, okay. So, you know, we, we didn't know. So now Arrow actually seems like a much larger head, um, and deservedly so. Uh, gives people more confidence to put larger stuff on it. Um, the new cameras that are coming up uh, but of course the big thing about Arrow X is that we've got a much larger payload range now. Right. We go from 2 pounds all the way to 46 pounds on some models um, and 55 pounds on the AX7. So, so we've got the Arrow X3, X5 and X7. Correct. So respectively what's the maximum payload for those? Um, uh, AX3 and 5 are about the same at around about 46 pounds. Um, AX7 goes up to 55 pounds. The other thing, which is a convenience, and I have to thank you for doing this because, you know, this is a camera assistance. This just helps sure. camera adding extra camera screws into the yeah. side, make them easy. It sounds like a small thing, but if you're at the end of the world, this and you lose it, that's it's right. that's everything. That's right. So um, that, that's one of the other nice features to put them on the side. Uh, we also have 120 millimeters of travel on all three models. Um, so again, it's just trying not to limit the camera operator in one model or the other. Uh, the way we see it, it's three, three, three models and you can quite easily choose between them without having to sacrifice big things that do matter to people. So you've increased the build, 
we've added more fluid friction, yep. Yep. we've enhanced the counterbalance prop capabilities, and we have this nice 120 millimeter uh, yep. plate to get our balance with and yep. extra camera screws. There's so. one other thing. Okay. There's one more thing, but wait, there's more. <laughs> um, what we've done is we've put a, um, on the bottom of the claw ball, we now have three screws and we can mount the head flat onto a, a Mitchell plate or some other adapter. So we can put it on a, on a slider or something flat as well. So that's, that's another feature that, that we think will be quite useful to people. All right. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, Ian. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.